All right, in this video, I'm going to create a test user account. Okay, let's do it. If you do not already have your Office 365 subscription, you just need to go to www.office.com. From there, you can sign it with your account, or you can just simply select Get Office. And from there, you know, you can pick whichever type of value you want based on the type of tools you're looking for. Um, we have one of the best um, licenses, which is actually not even listed on here, which is the E3 license. Um, just read through these and kind of figure out which tool is good for your organization. So once you register and you've signed in, you should be able to see a screen like this. As a creator of the account, you should have admin privileges. If you're not an admin, um, don't worry about this part because it does not pertain to you. Your admin will be the one to create your account for you. All right, so as an admin, what we do is we go to the admin app. And that'll take you to the admin center. All right, let's open this up a little bit. And from there, what you wanna do is select users. And then you wanna to go to active users. All right, so I've got a few of my users here. So what I'm gonna do is, let's say I wanna create my test user account. I'm gonna select add user call it test account and for the username let's say I want to call it test account and um, you know, fill out the contact information and I'm gonna create the password for the test user so we'll call it something and um, and I want to make the user change the password when they first log in. All right under the roles, by default, it's selected as a regular user. Uh, we also have the option to um, select them as a global administrator. This is pretty much keys to the kingdom, which means they have um, the user will have access to all the admin portals and um, the admin center and able to create other accounts. And then you can customize an administrator. That option is a little bit more complicated. We will go into that. In this case, I'm just creating a regular user, so we'll leave it at the default. All right. Now, under product licenses, this is where I want to assign the appropriate license for the user. I'm going to select the license that I want. Again, if you're not an admin, you don't need to worry about all of this. All right. So I know the licenses that I want to assign to this user, so I've assigned them. Then I'm going to select Add. And yes, I do want the user to get an email. And this is actually a pretty good way to verify that the person requesting the account is legitimate because if they have access to their secondary email, then you know that it's them. So I'm gonna have it sent over to the email and I'm gonna send email and close. Okay. And just like that, a new user account has been created. And you can see I even got a notification of it. Um, in my email. So that concludes the tutorial on how to create an Office 365 account. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you the user side. I'm going to show you how the end user logs in, change their password, and install the Office 365 client applications. Stay tuned.